Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it ensures to identify the reporting and employee goals with the ODO 15 appraisal module. We can continuously monitor the employee performance with the appraisal management and the involvement of the manager, employee and HR is necessary for it. So an efficient ERP is beneficial for appraisal management by generating reports, setting employee goals and generating appraisal plans. It is possible to analyze the appraisals and impart goals for the employees with ODO 15 appraisal module. One of the efficient feature of the appraisal module is this reporting. It helps to keep track of the upcoming evaluation and set them as a reminder. So we can analyze the appraisal of employees quickly with the reporting feature. Here the user can export the appraisal status of employees in your company. In this gun view, the appraisal reports are arranged on a respective date. So you can view the appraisal based on the day, week, month and year. Here we can view the appraisal of respective employees with their departments and it is possible to sort out the appraisal based on the status uh, employee and department by clicking on this group by option. Hence you can analyze the appraisal separately with the employee status and the department. The appraisal status is visible by clicking on a title of a specific name and here we can see the employee's name, uh, status and the department in this open window. So the user can also check out the start and end date of the appraisal for a particular employees and in this calendar view we can analyze the appraisal report based on each day. So by clicking on a specific employee title, you can view the display name and the date of appraisal. And here in this right side of this calendar, you can see the appraisal status of the employee such as to start, done and cancelled. So these status are displayed with different colors in the calendar to show the employee's appraisal progress. And we can develop a new event by selecting a specific date on this calendar. And in this event window, we can enter the meeting subject and click on the create icon. The graphical representation of the appraisal analysis shows the employee days, uh, employees data on this x axis and the count on the y axis. So you can also view the appraisal date based on the uh, employee department and the status. On a graph using this group by option. Here we can see the uh, department and status of an employee appraisal in different colors in this graph and all the data of an employee appraisal is available to you by placing the cursor on a specific count in this graphical representation. And uh, the color bar of a particular department and appraisal status are shown in the upper part of this graph. And here uh, you can view the graph based on this bar chart, line chart and also in the pie chart format. So all the data displays in a graphic. So all the appraisal data displays in a circle format with variant colors in this pie chart. The total count of a appraisal in a pivot table format is visible through this pivot view and here the number of count for each employee depict separately in a pivot table. By selecting the goals tab uh, from this auto appraisal dashboard, you can access all the created goals. So here in this campaign view of this goals window, you can see the employee's name, uh, date and the stage with a specific goal title and uh, the list of all the created goal is visible from the list view of this goals window. Here we can view the information such as the name, deadline, next activity, progress, employee and the manager. So the user can set a new goal by clicking on this create icon and a new window will appear. So let's develop a new goal presentation uh, for an employee named Alita Oliver. So here we can enter the goal name as presentation. And 
then we can select the employee as Anita Oliver. So after selecting the employee, the manager for the Anita Oliver is automatically generated in this manager field. Later, we can add the end date for your goal by clicking on this deadline field. Then we can choose the progress of your goal uh, as 25%, 50% and more. And you can add the details about the goal inside this description tab. After that, we can click on the save icon and the goal for Anita Oliver is created efficiently and we can select the mark as done icon after completing the goal by the employee. So the uh, created presentation call is visible in this goals window and the progress rate can be seen here. Now let's go back to the appraisal window and uh, select the employee Anita Oliver. In this new appraisal window of Anita Oliver, you can see the sub menu such as employee goals and no meeting. So we already set a goal for Anita Oliver and it is viewable as employee goals in this appraisal window. So after clicking this employees, employee goals sub menu, a new window of Anita Oliver opens before you and here we can see that the goal is in this progress and the deadline uh, is within the four days so after completing goal you can click on this mark as done icon and the progress is at 100 percentage now let's go back to this goals window and we can see that the goal is completed by the anita oliver so the appraisal process is managed efficiently in a single database with Odoo 15 appraisal module and the goals for a specific employee are created within less time. And you can look out the appraisal analysis with the reporting feature and it is, it is easy by developing the surveys, employee goals and appraisal analysis. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.